you're new to my channel, I usually make videos of traditional storytelling, Irish folklore, and occasionally about my fucked up eye. Uh, before we get started though, this is Casper. He's a cat. He had surgery yesterday. This is about the seventh time he's had that particular surgery. If you want to hear more about that, and how you can help us with his incredibly repetitive vet bills, there's a link in the cards and in the description box below. Now you may do as you wish. Yes, he's wearing a nappy. Right, so Ginny D did another one of those really, really fun POV question videos, this time with an orc prison guard named Nakrasha. I thought the video was really, really fun. I was originally going to do the next one of these with a different character, a, a grumpy, drake-blooded sailor named Krohor den Una that I was going to be playing at Five Oaths LARP before the plague hit, but um, but this one was about being imprisoned, so I had to play Ash. I didn't have a choice. Have fun. This is longest shift. They should have blown horn by now, yes? Don't you think? Yeah, uh, yeah, they've usually blown the horn by now. Maybe he fell asleep. I know it does not matter to you. You are stuck here. But I want to go home and eat. Maybe I want to be here even less than you. Well, probably not. I am Nekrasha. Ah, uh, yes. Shekels. Those do not look very comfortable. What is your name? Ash Jones. I know. You do not want to talk to me. I am keeping you here. I understand. I have idea. I take shekels off, you talk to me. Yes? I'm so bored. Oh, grand, yeah, 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 whatever you want. This is not dream job. Lots of sitting around. And sometimes captives spit at me. Ugh. Tell me, why are you here? Did you make trouble? Uh, all depends on how you define trouble, exactly. Yeah, I saw a universe on the verge of developing capitalism, so I uh, I stepped in and I, uh, I killed a bunch of robber barons. There is no shame in making trouble. I like a little trouble. Is this first time behind bars for you? Or is this something you have done before? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I've been in prison plenty of times. And how is experience here? You have been here a few days, yes? I'm sure it's not the worst prison I've ever been in. You ever been to the hell pits of Burda? Or have you ever had to work in the fucking penal colony on Barbacron 5? Fucking awful. I know, it is prison. It cannot be good experience. How is food? I wonder if they feed you same thing they feed me. Not very good. It's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's not fucking horror muffins. But, um... I love a bit of laser raptor. Does it bother you to sleep on the floor? How is your back? I will listen, sleeping on the floor is the least of my back's worries at this point in my life. At least you have a little window for air. Cells without window, they smell very bad. Very bad. What is worst part, you think, so far? Honestly, it's the fact that I've a job I'm supposed to be doing and I've no idea if I'm getting it done now or not. Hmm. Yes, that is not good. How will you get out then? Would you make escape or 
try to prove you are not guilty of crime. Oh well, if I play my cards right, I'll be let out. Of course, why would you tell me this? I will not tell. No one listens to me anyway. If you do have trial, what will you tell them? How are you defending yourself? I'll just explain what decades of the unchecked, ruthless pursuit of capital has done to other universes and hope that they see sense. Do you think you would be good at this? Do people believe you when you tell them things? It doesn't really matter if I'm good at it or not. Once people have you chained up, they've already decided whether they want to believe you or not. I believe you. I think you are very persuasive. But I would not be judging you. Really though, do you make crimes sometimes? Some people would say that I do. I would say that it depends entirely on your definition of a crime. I make crimes. I am not ashamed to say it. I do what I must do. Even I once killed someone. But don't worry, he deserved it. What is worst crime you have made? Uh, sure, well, there is this fella that they have in, in most universes. His name's Adolf Hitler. Now, I have been traveling around the multiverse and so far I have killed 76 Adolf Hitlers. I don't think that counts as a crime, but apparently I'm destabilizing the timeline and damaging the fabric of reality. What drives you to make these crimes, do you think? I'm not really one for the law, but I do believe in justice. For me, it is rage. I have much anger inside about everything. Sometimes it simply comes out of me. But also, lots of things are against law. So many things. I wonder who makes law and why? Not every time does against law mean wrong to do. Would you agree? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All the times where it was illegal, illegal to protect people suffering oppression. That's bollocks! Every time that happens, it's absolute bollocks. <sighs> Maybe you never get out of here. Maybe you die here, do you think? It is possible. Some die. The sick ones, mostly. If you died here, who would miss you? Cathbad, Granny, Willet, Wendy, Fletch, Fletch's Puffin. Grachnal the Destroyer. I think that's it. I would miss you. A little bit. You're a good talking partner. You are probably in the middle of doing things when you come here, yes? Important things. What would what would not be finished if you died here? But listen, listen, this place, this this whole world you're living on is fucking pristine environmentally and and you've got money but you don't have capital those are those are different things entirely what won't get done is the preservation of the good things that you've got here that won't get done or well it might get done but it won't get done by me and if it doesn't get done by me, I won't be sure it'll get done at all, you know what I mean? Unfinished business. They call it this, no? If you are ghost. If you become ghost, Listen, who do you haunt? If I became a ghost, I would go back in time. And I would haunt the living fuck out of Oliver Cromwell. I'd be a fucking time ghost. You cannot haunt me. Even if you die here. I did not kill you, it would not be fair. I am not afraid of many things, but I am afraid of ghost. Weapon would go right through ghost. 
How do you kill them? They are already dead. Right, so what you want to do is you want to get an ionic charge wrapped around a horse. You're... Right, that was rhetorical. I could let you out. Should I? Give me your pitch. Why should I unlock the door? Alright, so, so. Not just all of time and space like that fucker in the blue box offers people. All of reality. Every dimension ever. All of them. You can come along with me and me mates and we can do that. Hmm. You're making good argument actually. Ah, but that is the horn. Time to change shifts. Ooh. At least make it look like you are wearing this, yes? Or I get in trouble. See you tomorrow, my friend. Nah, yeah, cheers, absolutely. Yeah. Bollocks! Thought we had that one. Wendy, I'm finished here. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing. You have finished watching the thing. I've already said before, Ash is one of my favorite characters. I have so much fun playing Ash. It's really fun. And seeing Necrosha in the original video, I just thought like Ash would want to be friends with this person so much. So fucking much. So I thought, why not try to recruit her? That would be cool. Onto their, their ship full of misfits and miscreants. Anyway, that's everything. Okay, bye.